So we have a conversation between Matt Walsh and some transgender people, trans people. All right, let's go ahead and watch the clip on Dr. Phil. My name is Matt Walsh, and I've written a book called Johnny the Walrus. This book is about identity and imagination. He identifies as a walrus, and his mom's a little silly. She takes it seriously and thinks he really is a walrus. So she went on her phone, and there are people telling her that this isn't pretend. He's really a walrus. And his mother takes him to the doctor to have him surgically transitioned and gets him walrus hormone pills, and then eventually tries to drop him off at a zoo to live with other walruses. Not only topping the Amazon charts, my book has taken the world by storm. Great book, great book. You're saying that there should be no construct of gender, just sex. You're either male or female. Right. And someone feeling in a mental, emotional way that they don't identify with the sex that they have been biologically created as and assigned at birth based on their genitalia, if they don't feel that way, that there's no construct that describes that, experiences that. Well, that's got nothing to do with the reality. So you can feel however you want. I mean, I could sit here and say that I feel like a tomato plant, but that doesn't mean that I actually in those things. So your, your self-perception, you can have whatever self-perception you want, but you can't expect me to take part in that self-perception or to take part in this kind of charade, this theatrical production. You don't get your own pronouns. Just Facts. I agree with him right away. I'll put the video link in the description also. It's like you don't get your own prepositions or your own, your own adjectives. You know, it's like if I were to tell you, my adjectives are handsome and brilliant. And no matter, <laughs> whenever you're talking about me, you have to describe me as handsome and brilliant because that's how I identify. Makes no sense. You don't get your own pronouns. These are, that's, that's, that's grammar, that's language. So you think it's a delusion? People are trying to destroy language, bro. They don't like the way they're being approached. They don't like the way people refer to them. So they decide to change it. It's just crazy. You're trying to destroy society the way we know, we, we know it. It's just wrong. Delusion. Someone is self-delusional. Yeah, I think it's, it's delusion. It could be a mental illness. It could be a, it's, it's a lot of different things. With, with children, wow. you know. I don't know why she said why, he or she. I think this person right here was a woman. Now, a man. Now, he looked like a woman or something like that. We all heard of gender dysphoria. So I don't know why she or he standing, standing there acting like, wow. Bro, gender dysphoria is real. Everybody who you know, look a little bit more into this type of situation, knows it, all right? There's also just a basic confusion that all kids have. Like, that's why when you hear, when you, when you hear someone, a parent say, oh, my four-year-old uh, son came, came to me and said that uh, I'm a girl now, and so that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise him as a girl. No, you're, you're a four-year-old, I have four kids. When a four-year-old boy comes to you and says, oh, I'm a girl, here's a good follow-up question. What is a girl? Ask him what he means by that. What do you mean by a girl? And when you, when you ask him that, here's what he'll tell you. He will tell you what he really means is that he, he wants to do some of the things that girls do, like play with the dollhouse or, or, you know, he likes the color pink. That's fine. Play with the dollhouse. But you're still a boy. Facts. Okay. Somebody give Matt Walsh, I don't know, a round of applause. Of course, he's not going to get a round of applause, but that's exact, that exactly what it is. If I ask you, or if you ask a little boy, hey, what's a girl? He's going to think about what he saw a girl doing to describe a girl. He's gonna tell you, girls play with dolls, girls have sleepover with other girls, girls paint their nails, girls wear high heels, girls have makeup. That's what a girl is. So for me, when a transgender person, or when a person who was born a boy, who knows nothing about being a girl, you know nothing about being a girl, bro. You've never been a girl in your life. So how can you get up one day and tell me you're a girl when you've never been one? Does that make sense? All you know is what you see, your perception. You saw a girl and you want to do what girls do. That's it. For me, that's it. There is no way you can tell me that all the way through your bone, you are a woman or you are a girl when you were born a boy, as a boy, and you know nothing about what it is to be a girl about having a, 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 I'm gonna stay PG here, menstruation, like you, your monthly, you know you know what? Bro, you don't know what it is to be a girl. You just saw what girls do and you want to do those things, all right? That's a question I would like to throw out to you know, other members of the panel, actually, because just like the four-year-old can't answer what is a girl, 
Well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology, is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. Because but, it's not for me to say. I, womanhood looks different for everybody. What do, you, what do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, well, well, that's how do, you, how do you define a female? Someone with, with female reproductive organs. Okay. Someone who's, you know, here's the thing. When you're, when you're female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, okay. we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were okay. because it's, in, it's down in, it's, it's in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. Interesting. Facts. Okay, Matt Walsh. Hey. So I'm trying to understand. Your definition is that a woman is someone who is female, you said, right? Correct, is okay. a biological female. So what happens if we have maybe someone who is female, identifies as a woman, right? You know, cisgender woman, right? As you explained, as you just explained, but maybe doesn't have the ability to reproduce. Maybe doesn't have those organs that you're talking about that are reproductive organs. I have answered the question. You stood up here and said trans women are women. Yes. Tell me what you mean. What is a woman? Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not but myself. But you used well, the word. Well, so what did you mean when you said trans women are women if you don't know what it means? Right? How can you say transgender are women if you don't know what a woman is? You can't define a woman because you don't know what it is to be a woman. All right? That's, that's just as simple. Hey, shout out to Matt Walsh. The reason why this conversation is so important because this is a type of conversation that are shaping the society we are living in, okay? And I want to be honest here. My only problem with the whole transgender movement and everything is the fact that it's being forced on people. The fact that now a person, a man, can get up one day, never been a woman in his life, it's like 20 years old, you've never been a woman, or like 17, whatever the age is, and decide, oh, I'm a woman now, I'm going to use the woman's bathroom. That's when it, for me, becomes like, come on, bro. And and then there's those, that whole pronoun uh, thing. People want to be called whatever they want. I posted a video the other day of a per people wanted to be called demon. Yeah, like demon, like angel and demon. They want to be called demon. Oh, my demon self or demon went to the store. Like, it makes no sense, bro. How do you want me to use that word to describe a person or to call a person? It makes no sense. So I agree with Matt Walsh, bro. So here's the thing. So I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who- That describes what? People who identify as a woman. What is a woman? A woman is a woman. What is a woman? Describe what people would describe as a woman. You know how insulting it is to real women out there? Real women who knows what it is to be a woman? To just come and say, oh yeah, a woman is a woman. Anybody can identify it as a woman. It's a wide umbrella or whatever those term they want to use. Come on, man. Identify as what? As a woman. What is that? was to each their own. Okay. Each woman, each man, each person is going to have a different relation with their own gender identity and define it differently. And so I'm trans women are women too. Okay. Who's clap? Why do you, what, 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 what are you, what are you clapping for? What are you clapping for? What they say makes no sense. That person here who was born a male and now identify as nothing. Same with this person right here, born a female but not identify as nothing. For me, identify, identifying as nothing means you are lost. You don't know what you are because you are lost. And for me, I'm just, I'm going to be honest. You need help. Go talk to somebody. Find yourself. You want to be able to find yourself. You can't just sit there. Somebody's asking you, are you a male? Are you a female? What are you? I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm nothing. I'm just, bro, you lost. It's like me asking you, what do you want to eat? And you're like, I don't know. You need help. So I'm going to give you a list of things that are available and then you're going to choose from it. You're going to find out. I'm going to help you out. All right? Come on, man. And you want to you, hold you on, hold on. Again, you want to reduce you, you listen, won't listen. Even tell me you what the word reduce, means though. So you that's the problem. You want to reduce women, you want to reduce men down to maybe just their genetics, our genitals, no. our chromosomes, right? That's what you're what saying. You want to do is that's a, what, what you what you day. want to do is appropriate women. You want to appropriate womanhood. Okay. And turn it into basically a costume that could be worn. That's facts. You just want to appropriate what it is to be a woman. You saw a woman. That's why you look like this. You have the long hair. You put a lot of makeup. You put the, the earrings or whatever. I think those are earrings. 
bro, you still, you still what you were born as. You can try, you can try your hardest. You can do whatever you want, all the surgery, the whatever and all that. But you will know deep down if you were born a male. For me, bro, you are a male. So we have another conversation here. You are still a male. You just want to do what women does, right? You want to dress like a woman. You want to have, you want to look like a woman. You want to do whatever you want. The hearings, all the woman thing. That's why, and I realized that, and let me know if you agree with me. Uh, that's why when you look at cross dressers or you look at male trying to transition to become a uh, female, they look way more feminine than, act, than actual women. Like so feminine. Like their hair, the makeup is extra, extra, extra. <sighs> there's the extreme approach that you are admittedly taking. Um, and then there's also just ordinary people that might not be comfortable with the language change. And it just is awkward. And so they're afraid of not being courteous or being accepting. So there's like these two things. There's actually combating and not being, you don't like transgender, the idea of transgender. That's different than pronouns. But then just for most people, it's just feeling a little bit awkward and unsure and not wanting to hurt or offend somebody. I'm just gonna say right away before Matt Walsh uh, give his answer, my number one problem also with the transgender movement right now is the kids. Leave the kids alone, bro. Leave the kids alone. Kids are naturally curious. They want to know, they see things that they don't understand. Bro, don't bring that thing on the kids, man. Kids don't know. When I was little, I wanted to be everything. I wanted to be a dragon. Then I wanted to be a ninja turtle. Then I wanted to be a ninja. Then I wanted to be a Dragon Ball Z character. Bro, kids kids want to be everything, all right? So for you to bring that on the kids, that because right now there's an agenda allowing kids to identify as whatever they want to identify. Just like the book Matt Walsh wrote with the walrus kid, right? If a kid says, oh, I want to be a girl when the kid is a boy, bro, you need to be able to help that kid figuring out exactly what they're saying. And most of the time, in my humble opinion, 99% of the time, kids just want to do different things. That's why you have tomboys, right? What happened to tomboys? That's why you have tomboys. A girl who would just want to dress like a boy and want to play with boys, it happened. That doesn't mean she's a boy, that all of a sudden she's a boy, but certain people will just push that agenda on little kid. That's wrong, bro. That's just wrong. Why is it important for educators to teach about gender identity, gender presentation, and pronouns? Why, why do you think that's important? Because there, there is a difference. There is biological sex, and a lot of times people are conflating sex and gender. So there's biological sex, and then there's gender, and that's a social construct in the sense that just because you're born biologically a female doesn't mean you automatically want to vacuum, for instance, which is usually a feminine mm -hmm. um, activity or con conflated that way. Um, and so it's this idea of giving children uh, in age-appropriate ways an understanding that you can, that these things aren't set in stone. Gender identity is not tied to biology. You say that gender is not set in stone. It's uh, not. What do you mean? I mean, I mean, that's just factually incorrect uh, saying that. So you have biology is the chromosomal makeup and, and, and reproductive organs and all of that. Um, and so that would be sort of the nature side of things. But the nurture side of things is where we see more of gender identities. She, she began by saying that my view is extreme. Okay, so the view that every single person on earth yeah. has held up until 15 seconds ago is extreme. And the view that almost everyone does right now still, still holds extreme, apparently, according to her. But Th there, there is this they are conflating gender and sex because on one hand they say well you got your biological sex but then your gender is whatever social construct but then they turn around and say that trans women are women so a man yeah, yeah. Who, ha who who identifies with the with the the gender the social construct of womanhood actually is a woman so if you can uh, you can laugh all you want but you are mm -hmm. this is a logical problem you are conflating sex and gender just by saying that so Facts. that's the problem there's Facts. biological sex, and then there is gender identity. Part of me wants to ask why you care so much, uh, because- right. Are you serious? Lord, <laughs> Lord have mercy. She's asking why you care. The reason why normal people care about that is because you are already confused. You as a human being, as a person, you are confused. And because there's not a lot like you, you want to turn other people like you. 
You are confused and you want more people like you. That's not okay, bro. Do your thing, bro. Whatever you want to identify, identify as. Do you. But don't force me into that. All right, and I do not promote violence against a uh, trans or the LGBT, LGBTQ community. I'm just saying, if you want to be a trans person, if you want to identify as whatever you have to, you want to identify whatever you do in your house, do you, boo, do you, bro, but don't force me into it and leave the kid out of it, bro. That's it. Really not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah, can I answer that? Um, I, I, I'd, love to, I'd love to answer that question. I, I care about the truth. So, so basic truth matters. I want to live in a society where people okay, care about fine. the truth and we're grounded in truth. Right. Um, I care about children and this, these insane ideas about too. gender are... No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because you just said, when Dr. Phil asked her the question, she said it is important to start teaching younger kids about gender identity. You don't care about kids. Kids are supposed to grow up like little kids, find out on their own, you have to let them grow, bro. I'd love, to, I'd love to answer that question. I, I care about the truth. So, so basic truth matters. I want to live in a society where people okay, care about fine. the truth and we're grounded in truth. Right. Um, I care about children. And this, these insane ideas about too. gender are being, are being foist on kids. Um, and that, that bothers me quite a bit. I care about the women who are having their opportunities stolen from them. I care quite a bit, yeah. You are a champion for... Yep, and the women also. It's happening all around the world. A lot of women are losing on opportunity because some person, some man can just get up and say, okay, I'm a woman today. I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to compete against you and I'm going to crush all the record. And uh, that's what it is because now I'm saying I'm a woman. Is that fair? Is that fair? No, it's not. All right, let me know what you think about this conversation. Shout out to Matt Walsh, bro. I'm on his side. Facts. I'm on his side. Facts don't care about feeling. A lot of people are saying that and I like that. Go with the facts. Let me know what you think about this and uh, catch you on the next one. God bless you.